Hello everyone, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install Jenkins on Windows 11. Let's begin. Let's understand about the prerequisites. So if you are setting up for a small team, then you have 4 GB of RAM and 50 GB of drive space. And you must have Java version 11 or later. Okay, let me show you. This time on my machine, I have a Java version 17. Okay, now we are ready to proceed. So there are two simple steps. In this step one, we will see the downloading and installation action. And I will explain you through the installation, what are the important steps. And in the step two here, after the installation, we will do some verification that uh, Jenkins is set up as a service in Windows 11 or not. Okay, so now copy the download link from the description and come here in the address bar of the browser, paste it. And then you will see the Jenkins official download page. Come here in this section, LTS 2.414.2 version. Look for the Windows option. Click here. We have other versions as well for other operating systems. Once you click, you will be redirected on this page and your Jenkins.msi file will start downloading this way. You can see here. So file size is not big, only 91.3 MB in size. I have already downloaded and placed here in a separate folder. So simply you have to do a double click on this MSSI file to launch this installer. After that, you will have this destination folder. If your C drive is full, then only you can change the path. Otherwise, leave this path as it is. Click next. Now look for this service logon credential. So guys, we are not going to proceed with the run service as a local user or domain user because this creates problem time to time. And this is diff little difficult to solve this. So first we will go with the uh, run service as a local system. After that, we will change it to the local or domain user. I will show you that step. So first go with the option. Now here you have to do the port selection. So Jenkins setup automatically detects the free port. If your 8080 is busy, then this will show you another useful port. So we don't need to change here uh, manually and whatever is appearing, just click on the test port. If you see this green tick mark, then you can proceed. Okay, now in the next window, you have to give the path of the Java runtime informant. In your system, if you have set up the Java underscore home, so it may can detect the Java path or if it is not set as a Java home or your JDK is set up as an archive because in my system, the same thing is happening. I have downloaded the Java archive and I have used the JDK path. That's why this is asking me to give the path of that JDK location. So I am using that browse button and selected the path, then click next. In the custom setup, select the firewall exception, click next and here click on the install finally and wait for a few seconds. Then you will see this window from that uh, you want to install it. Click yes. And soon the installation will be finished and you will see the final window. Click on the finish button. Okay, so we are almost done. Now we will follow this step two in which we will see the Jenkins is set up as a service in Windows or not. Or is it properly running? Okay, let's do it. Go to the search box, type services. And then you will have this services window. Here we have all the services which are running or which are stopped. So we need to look for the Jenkins. Here we found. So you can see our Jenkins is set up as a services here, which is up and running. You can see the status. Okay. And you can see we log on as a local system and here we need to change it as a domain user or local user. 
On the left hand side, we have option for stop the service and restart the service. So this way we can click on the stop button to stop the service and you want to start the service again, simply go on the left hand side, click on this link to start the service. This is quite simple. Great. Now do the right click here and go to the properties. When you go to the properties, you have this tab log on. This time we are log on as a local system account. You want to change it. So go to this account here. You have to click on the browse button and here you have to give the username for which you want to set up. So this time I have one of the user with the name. I have given that name. Click OK and this will ask you to set type the password for that user because we are going to give the access to this user for Jenkins service. OK, and when you click on the apply, this will sh show you the message that you need to stop the service and you have to resume the service again. Great. Now we are logged in as a user, local user. Okay, now I have just stopped the service. Now I'm going to restart the service again. Okay, it's done. Now minimize this window. We are done with the services. Now we will go back to the notepad. So you can simply use this URL, HTTP localhost. You can simply click on it and then you will see the welcome window from the Jenkins and here this will show you the unlock the Jenkins window. So guys here we have to perform one more step. To ensure the Jenkins is securely set up by the administrator, the password has been written to the log file. Okay, and this is the path of that file. So we have to pick the initial admin password from this uh, text file and we have to come back and we have to put the password here. So I have just opened here that file and we need to copy this password. Go back here, paste it, click continue. And soon you will see the next screen here. This is asking us to install the some important Jenkins plugins. So click on the first link. So this is the common and the very uh, useful plugins which are by default going to install for our use. One by one, this will be downloaded and you will see the green tick mark against. Once everything is finished, you will move to the next screen. This is for first time we are going to create one admin user. Okay, so we need to give the name of the user like cool IT help and then you can choose a password for that user and put the same password here to confirm and uh, we need to add the full name of the user because uh, in your system maybe the Jenkins users are different. You are creating a different kind of admins for different kind of administration tasks. That's why you can give the full name to differentiate the user properly. And here you have to give one email address for that user, which is mandatory. And finally, we will click on the save and continue. And then this will take you to the next screen instance configuration. So we are not going to change. So our Jenkins will launch on this HTTP localhost 8080 click next. Finally, you will get this message start using Jenkins click on it. Then you will have the home of your Jenkins. Welcome to Jenkins. All the items, the menu items on the left hand side, there's a build queue and then there's a build executor status and lots of things are here. You can manage the Jenkins. You have the system, tools, plugins, nodes, clouds, security related settings, credential. When you click on the user, you will have that user we have just created, which is the admin. So all the properties and the credentials are appearing here. So you can customize here and configure from your this Jenkins account. When you click on the people, this will show you how many users you have. So right now we have a one user ID, cool ID help, which is appearing on the top as well. 
and once you click on the logout you can check you can log in again that our admin user id and password is working properly or not okay we logged in again successfully so guys this is the way you can set up the jenkins on your windows 11 and now this is all yours you can perform you can create the job you can do lots of thing here in the jenkins i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to support and for now thanks for watching to cool it help